Greetings, YouTube. So, an Australian couple got married. And the man decided to adopt his wife's name, something he thought was completely innocuous. No more controversial than when a woman adopts her new husband's name, something that's been going on for hundreds, possibly thousands of years. I don't know how long how long it's been going on. Um, so, you know, just no big deal. Well, hmm, seems that some men had a problem with that, such as, and as an avalanche of abuse by strangers wishing his violence death. Go kill yourself, wrote one man to Phillips. I hope you and your, sh your whore die in a car crash so that your genes don't continue. Another wishful infer infer infertility on him and his wife. I hope your wife can't have kids. They'll be God's way of punishing you. Um, Phillips and his wife had not planned to make a political statement when their name uh, changed dis uh, decision. My wife had no male cousins in the last uh, in the last of her family's lineage in the name of Phillips, so it would be die out after her. I was completely taken by surprise that in 2017 this was something that was uh, uh, making noise. Yep, it was a personal choice had nothing to do with anyone else. But guess what? Toxic masculinity rears its ugly head because some men can't tolerate the fact that another person did something that they themselves would not do. They could not tolerate the fact that a man would take a woman's name, essentially emasculating themselves in their pathetic little minds. So when people ask, what is toxic masculinity? Point them to this video right here. This is toxic masculinity. A man taking his wife's name gets death threats from complete strangers. Pathetic, sad, weak willed MRAs rearing their ugly, vile heads.